Hi everybody. So I'm going to do two lessons on Voronoi diagrams. This first lesson we will look at what they are, what they mean, and where they come from, and we're going to create a Voronoi diagram. And then in the second lesson I'm going to go through the types of questions you could be asked in an exam. Okay, so firstly let me bring your attention to these two photos. I had too many examples to choose from for uh, where Voronoi diagrams appear in real life. If you if you just go to Wikipedia and type in Voronoi diagrams and, and look at the applications, you'll see that they appear and present themselves all over the place in the real world. Um, I have chosen to show you the giraffe whose um, pattern is a Voronoi diagram. And this is the water cube it's called it's the aquatic center in beijing where they held the swimming in the 2008 olympics and what the design is is well it's it represents bubbles and when when bubbles come together they form a voronoi diagram like this okay now the example i'm going to use to explain what a voronoi diagram is is a is a different example again it's actually schools so this is a Voronoi diagram, ignoring the arrows and the and the writing. This is a Voronoi diagram. Imagine each of these points, so this is this is my example. Imagine each of these points is a school. Now some states or cities or towns or countries even have rules where you have to go to the school that is closest to where you live. Now this can be quite a controversial policy and quite a an annoying policy if you live in the wrong place. So for example, if you imagine you lived here, and let's say these three schools here are all brilliant schools, and this is a terrible school. Well, you have to go to this school because this is the school that's closest to you. In fact, this school might be easier to get to, but this is still the one that's that's closest to you, so you have to go to it. Um, but that is what a Vorna diagram is. It divides this whole area into regions which kind of show you all the points that are closest to a given school, in my example, but site is the more technical name in Vorna diagrams. So anywhere in here, if you if you live here, that's your closest school. If you live here, that's your closest school. If you live here, that's your closest school. But if you live here, that's your closest school. Anywhere in here, that's your closest school. Anywhere here, that's your closest school, etc. So that's basically what a Voronoi diagram is. Um, what I want to now show you, I just want to go through these kind of technical terms. So edges are outside the region. So this is the this is an edge. This is an edge. This is an edge. This is an edge. Sites are what I've called schools. So these are the sites. Site, 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 site. Cells are the region. So this is a cell. This is a cell. This is a cell. This is a cell. And each cell has one site. And then vertices are where the edges meet. So the edges meet at a vertex. So that's a vertex. That's a vertex. That's a vertex. Now note as well that it's always three vertices that meet. Um, sorry, three edges that meet at a vertex. Look, three edges, three edges, three edges, three edges, three edges, three edges. Um, Okay, next thing I want to show you is that these edges are actually perpendicular bisectors. And that's the whole point of this thing. So look, the perpendicular bisector of these two points is this edge. So if I draw this, this bisects these two points. So clearly anything below this line is closest to this point and anything above this line, well, its nearest school is this school. If I draw the perpendicular bisector here, well, of, the, of these two points, um, this is the perpendicular bisector of these two points. Or so anything to the left of it, if you live anywhere to the left of this line, that's your nearest school. Anywhere to the right, this is your nearest school. And they're all perpendicular bisectors. Look, that is the perpendicular bisector of these two. That is the perpendicular bisector of these two. That is the perpendicular bisector of these two. And it kind of shows you why. This school is closest to this point and this school is closest to this point because that's the perpendicular bisector. It bisects, it cuts in half the uh, the area between these two these two points. So kind of obviously anywhere to the left of this is closer to this point. Final thing I want to show you is 
the let me get rid of these so these circles so each vertex is actually the center of a circle that goes through the three sites closest to it so here I've just picked a circle um, I've picked that this is my center and it goes through this point this point and this point if I pick another this is another circle that I've already made it goes through these three points one two three and this is its center and you could do that for any if you get any vertex if you actually had a set of compasses and a, and you had this on paper you could do it with the set of compasses put the pointy bit right on the vertex and draw a circle and you'll see that it goes through the three closest points okay that's your kind of introduction to Voronoi diagrams what I want to do now is draw one so I want to draw I want to create a Voronoi diagram you don't need to know how to create a full one from scratch in your exam normally they'll they'll just ask you to complete one but certainly um, it's going to help with your understanding if you know how it's done so let's start with two let's just start with two points imagine I have here's a point and here's a point and let's stick with our school example let's say I wanted to decide how do I split up this region or this this whole area split it up into two regions where one one region is everywhere is closest to this point and the other region everywhere in it is closest to this point well what I do is I bisect I bisect the two points uh, like this obviously this isn't perfect but there you go there's a straight line everywhere to the left of this line he's your he, that's it's clo your closest school if you live anywhere to the right of this line that's your closest school so that is actually technically a Voronoi diagram with two points or two sites but obviously I'm going to increase the number of sites and the whole thing gets a little bit more complicated so let's let's put another site here now let me not there let's say here okay now I need to draw perpendicular bisectors of the uh, the perpendicular bisector for these two points which would be let's say something like that and then the perpendicular bisector for these two points which would be something like that now note they all meet here in the middle and that would be the center of this circle but I want to remove some of these lines because this this line here it's only um, it's only important for these two points it's not really it doesn't really affect this point so I'm actually going to remove that there and similarly this line is only for these two points so I'm going to remove this here and then this point is only for these ones so I'm going to remove this down here so now there we have our Voronoi diagram for three points anywhere here is closest to this school anywhere here is closest to this school anywhere here is closest to this school fine and I can keep going I'll do one more um, obviously you can try and keep going as far as you want if you were doing an IA and this is a very good topic for an IA you could um, you might actually want to create the whole Voronoi diagram so let's say I have another school down here right I need to get the perpendicular bisector of these two which is going to be um, not there but let's say here and I need the perpendicular bisector of these two which is here now again it's not perfectly accurate but it, but note they meet here that would be the center of the circle going through these three points now again I'm going to get out my eraser and I'm going to remove this line because this line isn't to do with this point it's for these two points and this line here um, is for these two points so that's I don't need that there and uh, yeah there actually sorry this one 
I don't need this line here because that is only for these two points. So I'm going to remove that there. And that's my Voronoi diagram for four points. And I can keep going on and on like that. And eventually I'd end up with, well, depending where the points are, you end up with a, a kind of more complete Voronoi diagram, which looks something like this. Okay, so as I say, in the next lesson, we will, in the next lesson, we're going to go through the different examples of the types of questions you could be asked in your exam. I do want you to know all the names of these different things, the edges, sites, cells, and vertices. I think the school example is a good, that's a good kind of example that you can relate to possibly, and certainly it makes sense and it's easy to explain when a Voronoi diagram is using that example. Um, I do want you to know, well, I certainly want you to realize that it's perpendicular bisectors that is um, creating the Voronoi diagram. And as I say, in the next lesson, we will go through those specific exam type questions. See you in that lesson.